things I will do to make this week great. What did you accomplish? What were your big wins for last week? Five big priorities for the day. From starting the goal to finishing the goal, don't stress if you didn't get something done, just move it to the next day. I didn't do anything, but really, no girl, you did so much. Just like Michael Scott says, keep it simple, stupid, you'll never go wrong. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I use my Rocketbook Panda Planner to stay organized, set goals, create habits, and some tips that I've learned along the way to fully benefit from this planner to have a more organized life as a stay-at-home mom. So if you think you can benefit from this video, then keep on watching. There are a couple reasons that I got this planner. One, it is reusable. Each book comes with an erasable pen and these are just basic pens you can buy at Walmart, Target. They keep it very simple. So two of my favorite planners that I've had in the past, one was very like goal, motivation, habit training, like oriented. The second one was very focused on just productivity. So the reason I love this one is because it combines both of them. Reusable, which is great. You can use it for productivity and goal setting, habit setting, and all of that good stuff that you want involved with your whole planner. I want to be productive, want to get stuff done, but I also want to hit my goals and become a better person as well. Another reason I love it is because it's very thin. It is not a huge planner, bulky planner that you have to bring around the house. And it's also very simple. The way that it's laid out, everything has a title, every page, every box, so it tells you what to put in there. So this is a very good beginner friendly planner if you're not used to planning your days, your weeks, your months. This one is a great one to get because it tells you you what to do and it's not overwhelming. Just like Michael Scott says, keep it simple, stupid, you'll never go wrong. The next thing I'm gonna show you guys is how I plan my days and my weeks with this planner, how I become very productive, organized, and how I set goals, achieve goals, and habits as well. Just quickly wanna throw a little disclaimer here, just because I use this amazing planner does not mean that my life is 100% productive, organized, clean, you know, hitting my goals, creating my habits, I'm not a perfect perfect mother. I'm not a perfect wife. I'm not a perfect woman. I'm not a perfect person. But if you have a desire to be better, if you have a desire to be more organized, to be more productive, to create habits and actually achieve them, this is definitely for you. So that's the quick disclaimer. I'm not perfect, but I have a desire to be better. And this helps me be a better person, wife, woman, friend, First thing that I do when I open up my planner is I'm going to plan for this current week. I look at the previous week and I see what I accomplished, what I didn't accomplish, and then I go from there. What I love about this planner is it's reminding you of your successes because it's so easy to focus on our fails and focus on when we didn't accomplish something. So I love that it has space and room for what did you accomplish? What were your big wins for last week? So right off the bat, it starts off with a very positive vibe, which I love. Another great thing is lessons learned. What lesson did you learn from last week? Last week I learned that I need to not assume that my husband knows when I'm overwhelmed, when I'm having a hard time, I need to communicate that with him because he is willing to help me. That is something that I would write on lessons learned from last week so then I can remember him for this week and hopefully be better and change. And then it says things I will do to make this week great. And I love that it organizes it in different sections. It has personal work, family slash friends and relationships. Next thing it has is projects and tasks. So you are going to focus on what are my main projects and tasks that I want to get done. And I love that the project and task list is only three things because I used to write a list of 20 things that I needed to get done for the week. And when I didn't accomplish them, I was like, oh, you failed. This whole week was a failure. You are a failure. So I like that it is realistic on huge projects and tasks. And this is definitely, this isn't just like a normal to-do list. This is like big projects and tasks. So for example, I would write, we are wanting to make a sandbox in the backyard. That would be one big project and task. Organizing the garage, that's a huge thing that's gonna take a lot of time. I would put that on my one of my three big project tasks to do for the week. In the goal box, I would not count that as like your main goals that you're trying to achieve. I would just say like three little goals. And then at the very bottom, the days of the week, that's where I write down my dinner meal plans for the week, everything that we're going to have. And then I'll also write ingredients that I am missing and things that I need to purchase. And then I will look at my day planner and I will actually plan my day that the night before for the next day. 
For example, Sunday night, I will plan Monday. Monday night, I will plan Tuesday, and so on and so on. If there is anything I didn't accomplish on my to-do list from the day before, I will move it over to the next day. The same thing as the week, I don't know if I talked about that, but if there's anything on my project list that I didn't do the week before, I will just move it to the next week. I love that it starts off again on such a positive note. You have to write three things you're grateful for and three things that you're excited about. I just love that it forces you to be thankful understand that you're blessed and keeps you on that positive start to your day. The next one is affirmations. I recently just got an app called I Am App. Um, my cousin introduced it to me, so my phone will tell me every morning at 6 a.m. it tells me an affirmation and that's the affirmation that I'm supposed to go back to and I focus on throughout the day. So I will write that affirmation right here in the little affirmation spot and that's the one that I focus on today. My current affirmation for today is I constantly work on my weaknesses, which I am doing right now. And the next thing is focus and exercise. You can kind of put whatever you want in these, but this is just what I'm doing. Exercise, I basically just write down what workout I'm doing today, upper body, back and biceps, stuff like that. For focus, I write down something that I'm working on today. And you can write down whatever you want for focus, but that's what I write down. And then you have priorities, tasks, and notes. So for priorities, I write down my five big priorities for the day, and they change every day, day to day. And then for tasks, I write down things that I basically do every single day because it feels good to check it off. Laundry, kitchen, clean the bathrooms, sweet mop vacuum, fold laundry, things that I'm doing every single day. It just feels good to check off that box, knowing I'm finishing things, knowing I'm accomplishing things. Visually seeing that I'm getting stuff done helps me so much at the end of the day where I'm like, I didn't do anything, but really, no girl, you did so much. And in the notes box, I write down what we're having for dinner and then any random notes that I think throughout the day, things that I might forget, I write them in there. And for the schedule part, I use that basically as a block schedule. I try to stay in about like 15, 30 an hour increments of things that need to get done, what my day will look like. And in this section, I write down everything. I write down any responsibilities that I need to get done, appointments, any commitments that I've made. I write down when I'm working out, when I wake up, when I go to sleep. I schedule when I'm going to eat, when my kids are going to eat, when I'm going to make food. Sometimes if I feel like I need it, I'm going to schedule a 15 minute break in there. And then a huge one, a huge one is you need to schedule me time. You need to have me time at least once a week. So schedule your me time, get it on your calendar and take care of yourself. Okay. I always get so aggressive when I talk about me time, but it's everything. I just got scared. And then you need to schedule when you're going to fill out the planner for the next day. So I fill out my planner right before I go to bed and then I'm trying to read a book and then go to sleep because it helps, you know, trying to turn off my brain, less blue light, all that good stuff. So before you schedule the next day, you have to write down your evening routines. Today's wins. You get to write three things that you feel like you did great. They were your wins for the day. And I love that it makes you revisit, circle back to your goals, your achievements, things you did right and things that you want to do better for the next day. When it comes to setting goals, and tracking habits with this planner, it makes it so simple. I've never had a planner like this where it tells you in detail everything you need to write down and it does step-by-step step from starting the goal to finishing the goal. It talks about target metrics and milestones. You have to roadmap your goals. It makes you write down benefits you're gonna receive after you achieve this goal. And there's this little spot for identity, so you have to write down what type of person do I need to be to achieve this goal. You have to write what is your life like after you hit your goals? What's at stake if you don't hit your goals? And then after that, that you have to sign a commitment because you're fully committed. You are signing a contract to achieve this goal. They're making it serious. They're seriously, are you committed to achieving this goal? Great, this is how we're gonna do it. And you have to sign it. And then for the month and daily habit tracker, it's less intense. All you have to do is write down your habit, check it off every day, and then see how you did. That is how I use my Rocketbook Panda Planner. And a couple things that I learned is one, don't stress if you didn't get something done, just move it to the next day. And then it'll tell you, hey, look, you also got this stuff done too. A lot of successes along the way. Something I will do after I finish planning the week and the day, I will text Max and I'll say, hey, this is what's going on and I'll fill him in. Say we're having dinner with our friends on Friday night, I will text them and I'll say, hey, are you guys still good for dinner at 5.30? And I will confirm all of our commitments. Another thing I learned is focus on one one habit and one goal at a time. When you do that, you're not overwhelmed and it's not unachievable. You're able to focus on one at a time and you're more likely to be able to achieve those goals and create habits.
months. Also check in with your planner at least three times a day. This helps you stay on focus, stay on task, see what you've accomplished and to help you keep going throughout the day. And if you feel overwhelmed, overwhelmed with a planner in general, I would say focus on your schedule and focus on your task list. And then once you've made that a habit, then you can add more and more stuff as you go on. And I just recently purchased Rocketbook's newest planner. It is the Everyday Planner. So this one is a little bit bigger. It has a lot more space to write and I'm going to use this one specifically for YouTube. Planning YouTube, what my goals are from YouTube, future videos I wanna make. So this one is going to be just for YouTube and this one is going to be for planning my life. And I will let you guys know if I like this one as well. That's it for this video, guys. That is how I use my Panda Planner in my everyday life. I hope you guys liked this video and got some value from those tips on things that I've learned from using this planner. Comment down below your favorite planner that you're currently using. And if you liked this video, then you might like my other video called Six Hacks on How to Be a Productive Mom. I will link it here and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.